What's up, it's your boy Sebastian, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at Blood Waves. We're reviewing this game for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and X. But before we get started with the review, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. Every once in a while, a game comes along and has real potential, but sadly falls short of what could be a really fun time. That's Blood Waves to the T. While there's some fun to be had, this game is as basic and one-dimensional as you can get. Here's the premise. You play as a woman who oddly looks very similar to Laura Croft from Tomb Raider. You try to take out zombies before they take you out. That's a real simple explanation, but to be honest, this is a simple game. To its core, Blood Waves is a wave-based zombie survival game where you kill the undead and try to survive as many waves as you can before you die. When you inevitably die, you restart from wave one. Yes, the very beginning. I told you, it's simple. You'd recognize this formula from the Call of Duty zombie games or the zombie mode. It's pretty much the same thing, just not quite done quite as well as those. This would be a lot more of a fun game if there were different levels. That's not the case here though. You're stuck in one circular room where zombies come out of the door in every direction. Yes, you heard that right. The whole game is just one room. Let's talk about the stars of the show, the zombies themselves. In the early stages, you will encounter the standard ghoulish zombies that try to swarm you and kill you. Pretty much your same old, same old zombies. That changes as you progress to higher waves, though. Then you have to encounter basic zombies with swords, acid zombies, bomb zombies, electrical zombies. I really like that. It has a really cool enemy variety. It adds a new layer of gameplay and challenge to the game. Speaking of zombies, occasionally when you kill one, you get cash and sometimes ammo. The ammo drops are few and far between though. That's another miss. That's another gameplay mechanic that feels a bit lackluster. Normally you expect more ammo drops in a game like this. It rarely happens here. Let's talk about the awards you earn for completing these waves. You get survival points and upgrade points for beating a wave all of which you can spend between waves. You can upgrade the damage a weapon or trap can do, or you can upgrade your character's abilities. The abilities that I'm talking about are attributes like your character's health, stamina, how well they actually execute headshots, that sort of thing. You can spend the money you earned on guns, traps, and ammo. Those traps never felt worth it, nor useful to be honest. Many a times I placed down traps and the zombies would just take down the traps before the actual traps would take down any zombies. That's very poor execution. So let's talk about the game's controls. The controls here are simple as well. You move the character with the left stick, you move the camera with the right stick, you can roll using the circle or the B button, and you swap your weapons with the D-pad. You also aim and shoot using the triggers. It's pretty much your standard shooter. It's really basic controls that work to this game's advantage. The basic controls really give the game a pick up and play feel to it. And that's a really good thing. I picked up this game and immediately I had some fun with it. Overall, Blood Waves is a super simple game. In the end, that's a double-edged sword though. While it's simple enough to quickly pick up, play, and enjoy, there isn't enough depth to keep that gameplay loop from feeling repetitive very quickly. Again, I just want to say this game is fun. I know it feels like I'm slamming on it here, but I want to reiterate, this game has a lot of fun to it. If you like zombie games, especially zombie survival games, you can get some enjoyment out of this game. The problem is that there isn't enough content here to make you want to continuously play this game. With more levels and more maps, this game could be so much more. It's a shame because right now Blood Waves feels like just one level that is ultimately scratching the surface of its potential. Blood Waves is a 5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date on all things the Prono Report, including more game reviews and the Prono Report podcast, go ahead and hit subscribe to stay up on all things the Prono Report. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.